Here on CBS This Morning Saturday, we like to showcase sunrises from cities all across America, but it's often sunsets that capture our imagination when people have more time to stop and admire the nightly painting in the sky. Now, three young meteorologists think they've come up with a very elusive forecast, how to predict the most spectacular sunsets. Mark Albert's here now with more. Good morning. We already know how to find out precisely when the sun will set and where, but figuring out which sunsets will provide that Kodak moment or the perfect backdrop to pop the question has been much harder. Now it's at your fingertips. Once a day, like cosmic clockwork, the orange orb slides through the sky, surrendering the heavens for its nightly celestial slumber. We know it's going to happen. The only question, will it be a doozy or a dud? Uh, this is probably one of my favorite sunsets, yes. Jake Dieflich uh, chases the doozies. I was going to remember where I took this and, you know, uh, and how gorgeous it was. And you want to give everyone the opportunity exactly. to take a photo like this. Exactly. If photography is about capturing a single moment, D. Flitch, Winter fellow Friday. Penn State meteorology graduate Ben Reppert. For December standards, this is not a cold map, that is for sure. And student Steve Hallett think they've figured out how to forecast the fleeting. There really was no reason that we couldn't create this thing. Hallett is the group's programmer, a 19-year-old sophomore who taught himself how to code. How do you predict the perfect sunset? We decided to go along the scale of vividness. How bright? Yes, how bright, how, uh, I guess you could say the wow factor. It took him about three weeks to write the algorithm. The deeper the red, the better. Yes, the deeper the red, the better, the higher. Their model the takes into account high or low clouds, moisture, pressure, and up to 20 conditions using 14 gigabytes of data from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, known as NOAA. The homebrewed program then posts a map every six hours to the group's website, sunsetwx.com. Where is the best sunset in the country today? Actually, the mall is uh, sniffing out some pretty good sunset in Southern California. You may have seen this spectacular pink sunset Thanksgiving weekend in parts of the East Coast. These guys called it. This is their map three hours before the show began. Those oranges and reds were pretty much right over New Jersey, right over Philadelphia, uh, right over Delaware. So this is what gorgeous yes, looks like. That is exactly what gorgeous looks like. The sunsets that make you go wow is what the algorithm is searching for and I think what we are all searching for. It's a search with a lot of followers. Type in sunset on Instagram and you'll find 85 million photos of evening's golden hour. But that innate desire to savor the day's final rays and to share them with others has been going on for centuries, long before the dawn of social media. So this is a famous sunset. This is a very famous sunset. Claude Monet may have painted his Houses of Parliament a century ago, but his duel with the daylight has proved to be a challenge that's immortal, explains National Gallery of Art associate curator Kim Jones. This combination of giddy and frustrated because he said the light changes every five minutes. In that way, sunsets are like fingerprints. No two are alike, and neither is their price tag. The great Florida sunset sold last month for nearly $6 million, a record for artist Martin Johnson Heed. This long-lost Van Gogh, found just two years ago, is possibly worth tens of millions. Van Gogh himself described the sunset he painted as a shower of gold. What is it, do you think, about a sunset that we keep wanting to capture? But sunset is like a punch in the face. It's so potent, so powerful, so vivid. And it's never the same. You just, it takes your breath away. You can understand why artists wanted to capture that sensation. Uh, one of uh, Monet's friends, the writer Octave Mirbeau, talked about imprisoning the sun. That's what sort of Monet is doing in these paintings. I sort of capturing it, encaging it, holding it close just for that one moment. Something that is beyond our control, beyond our touch. But in these paintings, you can capture it and hold on to it for, forever. The sun's daily farewell may take our breath away, but it can also give us a brighter outlook. Author Linda Wasmer Andrews has written 13 mental health books and an article for Psychology Today titled, How Admiring the Sunset Changes You for the Better. When people experience art, it can lead to a decreased 
a tendency to have self-centered thoughts and an increased tendency toward pro-social behavior. So you're actually more prone to being cooperative, more prone to being generous toward other people. The effects are temporary, so Wasmer Andrews prescribes a daily dose of awe to be taken at dusk. Awesome. And it's okay, she says, to capture the heavenly wonder with cameras or canvas as long as they go down before the sun does. And it's ironic because you're telling the whole world I'm having this amazing experience at the same time that you're depriving yourself of the experience. I saw a lot of vivid sunsets. Experiences, these guys say, we can now predict like clockwork. And since we first talked with them, the WizKids have rolled out version 2.0. Their homepage of the website now displays predictions of spectacular sunrises along with sunsets. They're cornering the market is what they're doing. Yeah. Exactly. I wish that they'd also take a look at rain. That seems to be terribly difficult to predict sometimes for uh, meteorologists as well. But do they ever get it wrong? Are they ever incorrect? You know, they've been online for about a month now. And they've got a great track record. If you see a brilliant red on their website on that yeah. map, head outside that night. You won't want to miss it. It's amazing how people never get tired of looking at pictures of sunsets. They, I mean, it's always the most popular thing you post on Instagram. When we first started doing this story, there were 84 million pictures on Instagram. Last night, it's now up to 85 million. Wow. People Mark keep Albert. posting. Great story. Thank you so much. Thanks. And if you want your daily dose of awe, just head to our CBS This Morning Instagram account using the hashtag Sunrise This Morning. We worked, the department, we worked with the Department of Interior to highlight your sunrise photos, and we do that daily.